So I've been working on the Silver 04 Mustang GT. The car is coming along. I've decided I'd like to try to give it another life and keep working with it, fix it up. And if you see my other videos, you'll see people are cutting the front ends off of perfectly good cars, like this Terminator Cobra, to make them into drag cars. And I thought, this car is messed up, but if you look underneath it, the strut towers are still straight. Everything from their back looks all right. And all these guys are cutting off good front ends on good cars, and I see other cars that are wrecked and put back together, and I think, if those cars can be fixed, why can't this one be? So that's my plan. Well, I turned on my Instagram, and next thing I knew, my friend Javier in Vegas, who has a screaming yellow Terminator Cobra, posted these pictures of him cutting the front end off of his Cobra to make a tubular front end on there that he can have a turbo mount and everything on there for. And I looked at that and thought, oh, that's perfect. I could use that. And here's the pictures of him cutting the front of the car off right in front of the strut towers. And I messaged him and I said, hey, I'd really like to buy that piece because that's all good sheet metal. The pinch welds are all there. Everything is perfect for what I need. That is all smashed on my car. And I would love to have this piece for my silver Mustang GT and he said yeah you can have it you know I offered to buy it but this was his response if you can use it brother it's all yours you can have it just come pick it up whenever you're ready it'll be here waiting for you so I couldn't go that weekend because I was up with my new friends up in northern Utah checking out their cars and going on vacation and so I told Javier that I'd be able to come down and pick it up the following week and so I got the plans all together and I went down with my friend who has a GT500 and we went down to do that and enjoy the races and as we're driving down this bag hit the front of our truck and it was just blowing but anyway Javier showed us his Corvette he has a CTSV that he races he has the engine out of it right now he has a beautiful Mustang Fox body we spent a lot of time looking at this car while we were at his house. It has a Coyote with a Whipple on it, and it's been painted Guardsman Blue, which is like a Shelby color. It's the color of the stripes on some of the Shelby cars. And Anyway, really cool to see that, and he has a lot of good work into these cars, and you can see that he does really good work. And My favorite car he has, of course, is the yellow Terminator Cobra known as the Taxi. I've been around this car for a little bit now, and uh, I always love to see this car again, so I got to see it. This is a really neat Turbo Cobra now. He's done 850s in it and he'll probably be in the sevens pretty soon and so that's what this is all about. So it's actually pretty cool that I will own a piece of this car since he has given me that front end clip because that front end clip has done 850s. <laughs> but anyway, so we got to the racetrack after that and my friend has a black bullet down there. This is my friend Joe's car and we've been talking a lot and messaging each other and when I go to Vegas uh, we try to meet up when we can. I tried to invite people I knew who were down there in Vegas to come to the racetrack so that I could make this more of a uh, fun trip than just going to pick up a part which was really nice and fun but I did want to come see um, him and his cars and so I did get to see his black bullet in person. It was really awesome. We pulled the back seat out because he didn't know what number the car was yet and we were able to look 3538. It was kind of hard to tell if that was a 5 or a 6 but we were able to look at it closely and zoom in on it with a camera and figure that out and he looked it up on the bullet mustang registry and it has been registered before so that's pretty cool so beautiful mustang bullet really cool to see i was really excited to see this car again i kept looking back at it and just thinking man i love that car my heart is with the new edge mustangs especially the bullet that's a very special car to me so well we went through the staging lanes and looked around we saw a odin supercharged mustang this is a 5.0 which is the gen 3 because it's a 2018 plus and so has the direct injection and everything on it but this is a car that's actually owned I didn't know it at the time as I was looking at it in the staging lanes but it's owned by Frank Yi who is a tuner down there in Vegas and so he has put this on the uh, Coyote and he's doing a lot of testing with it so he can tell his customers what this car is capable of this is on pump gas this is 91 octane so it's you know making good power 10 speed automatic he's running high tens with it the car's been 990 with it so 
Um, pretty cool to see, and he was just out there having fun, and I enjoyed watching this car because I've, you know, paid a lot of attention to the VMP channel and watching their supercharger development. I think it's cool that that supercharger has two intercooler bricks in there, and so just really cool to watch. So I got to watch him race, and I'll show some video of that. And there were some other cool cars there to watch. So we'll watch some of these races, and I like this mayhem racing because this is streetcar racing. This is what you would find uh, on the street driving around. This is what your friends have. It's not just rail cars or top fuel or whatever. This is like real streetcar stuff. So here is an LS1 and a Nova. Now you'll see the Coyote run with the supercharger, and keep in mind the density altitude this night was 5,500 feet, so it's like racing at a racetrack that's 5,000 feet high. This isn't the sea level stuff that everybody sees down at the other tracks, and it was 97 degrees. It was like 100 degrees when they started, and it got down into the high 90s, so really hot. So these are some pretty good runs. I didn't know it until later, but my friend Amos Garage was down there. I've watched a lot of his YouTube videos. He has a Dark Shadow Gray V6 that he had a Dark Shadow Gray Mach 1 that he repaired and worked on and got the parts of and swapped everything over. And he had a black GT there. And so I saw this new Edge Mustang GT with Mach 1 seats in it, and I didn't know it was him, but this was him racing. He had told me later, oh yeah, that was me, and so I was happy to know that that was him because I have watched a few of his videos. the Odin VMP supercharged 10 speed coyote again. So my friend Taylor was down there watching with us and he has this 2003 Terminator Cobra he's building and this is going to be a real awesome car when it's finished. Built engine, Gen 5 Whipple, the 3.0 liter one and everything and so we were watching the races and he said hey I just saw this awesome screaming yellow Mach 1 in the staging lanes. The guy says he knows you and uh, you're about to see him run and I thought oh it's Mike, my buddy Mike. I had just seen this picture on my Instagram right when Taylor walked up to me. And I was looking at this picture and thinking, oh, I should have told Mike that I'm here at the racetrack and he needs to come down here. But I don't like to, you know, have people feel obligated to come hang out if they don't want to come. But I didn't know he was there. He was in the staging lanes and he was up next. So we're going to see this beautiful Mustang Mach 1 run. And I've done a story about this car on the channel. My friend bought it with 2,000 miles on it, and then he had sold it with about 10,000, and now he had just bought it back. I actually found the car for sale and mentioned it to him, and he decided he wanted it back, and so he just went back up to, I think, Oregon or Washington, one of those northern states, and just brought it right back down to Vegas. 
the car only had 12,000 miles on it when he bought it back and so now he's had it back for just a little while it has 13,000 miles and this is a beautiful car and we're going to see a walk around video of this car here at the racetrack tonight so keep watching but anyway I just thought that was cool and Taylor had told me that Mike was saying oh yeah Justin's here cool he helped me find my car <laughs> I thought that was funny but anyway here's Mike racing this beautiful Mach 1 and you know props to him for doing that because I have a hard time taking my cars down the track sometimes and here he's racing a 13,000 mile original car I think that was like a 15 second quarter mile you know spinning your tires in first street tires it's not gonna hook my cousin ran like the exact same pass in his Mach 1 when it was stock he ran you know a terrible time but just you need some tires but here's the beautiful car man I was telling him my brother and I had a conversation when we drove a 5,000 mile bullet Mustang that you can't buy all these pieces brand new anymore I mean you can't and if you did, it would cost so much money that buying a car like this is a good value. This thing looks brand new. 13,000 miles, this is basically a brand new car. So I was really excited to see this car and see how nice it is. What a perfect example. And here's the VMP Coyote again, running tens all night long consistently in the heat. <laughs> And here's another pass from Mike, another good pass here. This was better than his other one, but he did need drag radials. was the races for the night going out to the parking lot I saw this I don't know what it was somebody said it might have been a Taurus with a Camaro front and back end on it I thought it was funny so I took pictures of it but I really should have been taking pictures of that beautiful C6 Corvette next to it it deserves uh, the pictures I was saying to my friend that Corvette's such a beautiful car but anyway I just thought these were some funny pictures but somebody had put a lot of work and time into this and that's what this is all about and what I'm saying here about this silver GT I mean if somebody can do this to a car and cut it up and put it together then I'd like to do it to mine so uh, I respect it I just thought it was really funny looking because you know it's not what it's trying to be but anyway we went to McDonald's on the way home in a little town called Mesquite Nevada on the way home and there was a Dark Shadow Grey Mach 1 and I do have footage of this exact Mach 1 driving down the freeway when I was with my friend in his GT350 coming back from the Shelby uh, GT350 event. So um, if you saw that video, you would know this is that same car. So pretty cool to see that in the drive through just because you don't see a whole lot of these New Edge Mustangs anymore, at least I don't and especially a Mach 1 so pretty cool th that this Mach 1 came up behind us in the drive through I had to turn around and take a picture but my friend uh, took us down there in his truck it was really nice of him to let me drive his truck and go down there and um, get the part 
I needed and so I have that now and so I want to thank him for letting me do that and uh, that was fun to spend the night together and go down and have a fun trip so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for this project and for more Mustang content.